We are back on the wellness segment here on Fresh at the dental offices of Dr. Norm Bryan and Anjana Gupta. And dental medicine is a big part of what happens inside these walls here. And Dr. Bryan, uh, things are getting really interesting in your field, I would think. And your practice now really specializes in a lot of things that go beyond what a person normally would experience maybe in a dental checkup, right? Well, I'd like to think so, yes. We, we try to, uh, as far as uh, dental medicine is concerned, we try to look at the whole person. Uh, you know, it's very important, as Dr. Gupta said, that we go through all the examinations, we get the good medical history. But there are a lot of things that uh, patients come to us for, or maybe they don't even realize that dentists can do, that are very important. Um, my field of expertise is uh, the TMJ joint, which is the jaw joint and uh, associated problems in, with that. When you consider that that is the only movable joint in the whole head, then there are a lot of maladies that people don't realize that we as dentists are, have a concern with or can really help them. And so that's kind of the, the issue that, that I have been dealing with for many years. Mm -hmm. And as it relates to wellness, it is important to know that doctors are referring patients to you. Other dentists are referring patients to you. Uh, wellness really and, and your dental practice go hand in glove, don't they? Oh, absolutely. Uh, that we want, like I say, we want to look at the whole patient. Uh, if the uh, a patient has a cavity, that's that's an issue that needs to be addressed, obviously. But I always liken it to the forest fire. We're not going to treat Dutch elm disease if the forest is on fire. If we have other issues that are more pressing that need to be taken care of, I think that's part of our initial examination. Let's check everything out. Let's see where you stand. And then let's deal with what we have to deal with first. The issue of head and neck and facial pain, mainly headaches, uh, neck, shoulder pain, is all issues that we as dentists can help patients with. And I don't think sometimes that they're aware of those issues. Chronic long-term headaches are not normal. Right. People may accommodate those, but they are not normal. So those are issues that they need to not only tell their physicians about, but tell their dentist about. That's my field of expertise, something I've been doing for the last 30 years. And so I feel very comfortable in dealing with those patients. And certainly that's part of our initial oral exam is where are you? Do you have these problems? Uh, if so, maybe we can actually deal with these problems. The whole issue of head and neck and facial pain, snoring, sleep apnea, are all issues that we as dentists can actually deal with. And I don't think the general public has uh, that conception. And we're going to talk more in further shows about that, especially the whole idea of sleep disorders. And I know you specialize big time in that. Uh, but doctor, I want to touch just briefly on cosmetic dentistry. What would you say, in your estimation, is the key to cosmetic dentistry? Well, you know, you see a lot of that uh, today, a lot of advertising on cosmetic dentistry. And a nice, bright, white smile is nice. But I think the issue many times is when we look at a patient, cosmetic dentistry may also mean their vertical dimension. Where are they as far as their, their overall facial features are concerned? Again, dealing with the jaw joint, I see many cases where people have missing teeth, lower dentition, maybe grinding their teeth, all kinds of issues that may cause their chin and nose ratio to collapse. When that happens, they age significantly. People lose teeth and back, they don't get them replaced, they overclose, pretty soon they get a forward head position and their jaw starts to come forward or, or sometimes fall back and we start to see a tremendous aging. So when we look at cosmetic dentistry, we want to look at where are we as far as the vertical dimension, do they have the proper height from their nose to their chin and so forth to make them look as youthful as possible. That as a TMJ expert we can help with because we can actually increase the vertical dimension on many of these patients and subtract years from their lives. So what you're saying doctor is that it is reversible in many cases in many some cases. of what you're talking about. Correct yeah and I think the nice bright white smile is, is certainly something we'd all like to attain but with that bright white smile is on someone that has a decreased vertical dimension I think a lot of the cosmetics is lost. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Well, a lot of interesting topics here today, and we're going to continue in this vein in upcoming shows. So we'll invite you to, to continue watching here on the wellness segment on Fresh. And uh, doctor, again, congratulations on 36 years in the practice, and happy birthday once again nice to you Greg. today. Appreciate you coming in. Dr. Norman Bryan here on Fresh. We'll return in just a moment, so stay tuned.